hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonathan, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. Yep. We're Doing playing it. Madden 21. Yep, one playing more. Madden 21. One more time for fun. What? All right. uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be way more than one more time, <laughs> right? First, Jonas, look, we should definitely say first off, man, our condolences to Chadwick Boseman. Yeah, we lost... oh yeah, yeah, and this will be somewhat current too because yeah. this will come out on Tuesday. So yeah, we lost a we lost a superhero today. We just found out, but we we do pre-record a little bit. Mm -hmm. Full transparency. Yeah, I mean, if if uh, if you get all your friends to sub and you guys watch enough that we can do this for a living, then we will we'll put them out very close together. Still, we'll still pre-record, even if we were making money. <laughs> we'd just be like, oh, dude, we can record three weeks at a time now, because we do nothing but do this for money. Yeah, dude, it sucks. Uh, what? I, I, I'm, I don't think a lot of people knew he was ill. Uh, Yeah, it is unfortunate, man. You never know. You never can tell. Mm -mm. He was in better health than me and you combined, and yet he just managed to... Go I out mean, there, have cancer, do movies. like. I mean... Uh, an old dump truck full of bricks is in better shape than, than me and you combined. <laughs> yeah, dude, especially since pandemic. I hurt my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> like, I hurt my shoulder at the end of last year, which made me stop going to the gym. And then pandemic hit. I have been. Oh, my God. You I've know. been, dude. But you know what? I have actually been, like, craving physical activity. <sighs> like, because I used to go play volleyball. And, like, dude, I can't do anything. I, I go for a walk. You want to, like, you want to, you want to, like. Run? You want to go race or something? Nah, dude. Running ain't my jam. It always hurts my shins. Like my knees have always been good. Mm. I always get like if I if I've went and started trying to run a few different times, mm -hmm. and every time after about a week my my shins start hurting. And and people have always told me, and I know it's, it's true, if you start having like shin pain, like potential shin splints. Yeah, those stop. aren't good. Those Do aren't not good. push it because it will only get worse. Yeah. There's <laughs> nothing you can do but stop. I used to get those a little bit when I ran, but you, we like build up a tolerance. Well, let's, Joe, it's fine, fine. We're not going to go run. We're not racing. I, I dust you anyway. Oh, let's absolutely. <laughs> I've never been a fast runner. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You're supposed to stand up for Oh, yourself. no. I was, I'm like, yeah, um, Max, dude. <laughs> uh, let's, go, let's go to the court and play some ball. Remember that court we saw? Yeah, dude. I was going to ask you if you wanted to go in on a bow flex. <laughs> we set it go up. Go on a bow flex? I, know, I don't know. You want to get a bow flex in the house? Yeah, dude. Remember, we can no. just get a whole we can get a whole mini gym set up over here. I don't know how I suggest a rousing game of basketball, and you're like, "Yo, let's get a bow flex and put it in the living room." <laughs> Explain that to anybody who ever comes over. <laughs> like, what's this? Oh, God, due to this pandemic, we got a bow flex. <laughs> just our six foot tall, five foot wide bow flex. Dude, those things are so. You need like a room for them. That's the thing. You really do. Yeah, they're giant. Yeah. Like. We'd be better off getting like a weight bench. <laughs> I lived, uh, when I lived in PA, I lived with a guy and we had a, it was similar size to this, maybe a little bit bigger, but it was a smaller house and we ended up getting like a uh, workout machine and it had like the, the lat pulled down, it had like the, the vertical, the horizontal bar that you could pull down to do like your back and chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had like the leg thing and it had them just kind of. But the thing was huge. It was taller than me, and it took up, like, just, like, a, an entire acre's worth of the house. Yeah, dude, and that's the thing. And, like, I always have had a hard time working out at home. I just, I can get, I don't get nearly as motivated as when I'm in the gym. That is facts, too. That's like, facts. Oh, oh, well, that worked out. I hit tap the button tw twice. Signature! Um, yeah, dude, I just can't, like, one thing I did think about honestly getting for the house is, like, an elliptical machine. You're going to get an elliptical? I was thinking about it. Yeah, dude. Because, get it. like, I would like to do some cardio, and I, I don't like treadmills. I'm not, because it, it just reminds me of running. At least the elliptical, like, isn't as, like, much impact on my shins. But, like, here's the thing, dude. I don't want one of them cheap Walmart ellipticals because, like, I feel like they're going to break, dude. <laughs> wait, wait. Like, I need, like, I need Walmart like a gym... might sponsor us one day. You right, might right, want to yeah. watch it. I need a gym quality elliptical. Well, go ahead and get yourself. I don't a... want to spend five hundred plus dollars on one. Get a one. Peloton, fam. Just go ahead and I don't drop want a bike. 
Peloton makes ellipticals. Dude, I remember and they make when the we were in improv class and our teacher said something about Peloton, and I, I literally had no idea what he was talking about, and he thought I was screwing with him. Oh, he said, that's he right. said that, I was know, like, what no. is that? He's like, a Peloton. And I'm like, dude, I have no idea what a Peloton is. So and he Pel looked at me like I was the a -hole. I, I, remember I really that. had no idea what a Peloton was. And then I looked it up, and I was like, oh, I, I knew. I just didn't know that yeah. was the name. I but, thought they were a bike with screen. No, it's a treadmill. It's like a it's like a first-class treadmill. Like, flying first-class on a treadmill, that's what you're doing on a Peloton. It, like, massages your buns as you run, and it, like, softens the blow of <laughs> wow, the impact dude. of your toes. Yeah, you got to make sure you wear underwear. Watch out. <laughs> it might insert a finger into your ear to clean out the the uh, the cerumen. The dust. Yeah, it gets your ear dust. But really, it is, it's a nice, it's a very, very nice uh, uh, treadmill. But I'm yeah. sure they make bikes. They make I, think, I think they make bikes, too. The ones where you sit on them and has like you're like, oh, I'm biking in the country. Who, What's who? the one where you kick your legs? Like, do you remember the guy? Oh, it's <laughs> the like jackal, the jackrabbit. Like the ski machine. It's like you, I the know, antelope. Yeah, it, it just looks funky, dude. I know you're like, it was that guy who wore the hat and had his ponytail through the back of it, dude. So they had one of those at the gym I used to go to, like where you just kind of like, it's almost like your legs are just like moving backwards and forwards. It's weird. I don't even know how to, like, describe yeah, it. Yeah, I don't either. It's like protractor movements. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I used to love that thing. And it used to, like, give me, like, the leg cramps. Boom. Touchdown, BS. It definitely did something. What has he got for us? Oh, okay. Hey. Oh, crank it. Okay. He's cranking. And then there's, like, the big offensive lineman behind him. He's like, dude, what are we driving a bike? <laughs> They're like broken toys. I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, those things are weird. <laughs> those, those things are. Weird. They are. I used dude. to love them, dude. I didn't like ellipticals because I just felt like they were too feminine. I know that's weird to say, but it does. It does kind of. It comes into play. You know, like I wouldn't wear pink. Every day of my life. I was gonna say I've because seen you wear pink plenty of times. I, okay, so what? So I've worn pink because I don't mind the fact. But if I wore pink every day, you'd be like, "Fam." I'd be like, "Do you like pink?" <laughs> no. <laughs> like something you want to tell me? I just know you wear pink every day. Yeah, dude. What? He's like, what? I just like the soft colors on my eyes. The pastels yeah. make my eyes hurt less. <laughs> It would too. I feel like the pink would really make my skin pop, and yeah. I feel like I would, you know, I would glow. Exactly. I've, thought, I've thought about wearing just pink and yellow every day. Just pink Easter, and yellow. Just Easter colors. <laughs> Looking like a GD spring parade all damn day. <laughs> Here comes Mr. Spring. Hell yeah, Jonas. You'd appreciate it. I would, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like a pastel Hulk Hogan. <laughs> neon what, pink and neon if, yellow. If you go to the gym, Jones, what's, what's proper gym attire? Me? Uh, I usually just wear uh, gym shorts. And shorts. So, like, windbreaker shorts. Just whatever, like whether they're Nike, like Adidas shorts or whatever. Above the knee or below the knee, because this is important. Oh, they're at least they're like at the knee. They're, all right, all right, that's they're respectable. Minim, they're minimum at the knee. Ooh, a ninety-six yard touchdown run. That's nice. Um, yeah, dude. I no no. But but what I also do is I also wear a pair of compression shorts underneath. Ooh. Dude. So that way, when I do sit on the on the stuff and I spread my legs. It, Whoa, it, sir. When you're on the when you're on the chest machine, you sit there and your legs are spread. This is a family program, but I don't um, want to see you make the motions. They yeah, don't get, they don't so, have to see you make the motions. I gotta see you make the motions. So yeah, I uh, I do that, and then uh, usually I just wear some sort of uh, like t-shirt, like with like. But I wear a compression shirt underneath that too, mainly because like I hate the feeling of sweat running down my body. So like I wear the compression shirt so it absorbs the sweat, really? and like like so it doesn't run down my legs, it doesn't run down wow. my chest. I like to see that sweat on the shirt. Yeah, no. I want to see it. Do you? Yeah, I, want, I need a paper towel. <laughs> Wipe me down. Yeah, dude, uh, but that's that's what I wear, and you do see a lot of people wearing, like, what's cut the, off jeans. <laughs> well, yeah, I was just going to ask, what's the, what's the biggest infraction you've ever seen? Dude, I, there used to be this guy, and he there would come is. into the gym. Like, when I used to work, uh, when I worked in the office before I worked from home, mm -hmm. I, there, I would go to this gym after work. I'd stop on my way home. And there was this dude who used to come in almost every day I was there. So good for him. He was there consistently. 
but he would wear literally jeans, boots, and a button-up shirt. Yeah, I've seen this And guy. he would just come in and get on the machine and start and like... I have seen this guy. <laughs> I think that guy exists many places. And in my head, I'm just like... I mean, good for you because you're coming to the gym. I won't shame you. <laughs> yeah. But, like, what the F isn't going on in your brain, dude? Was his name Chester? Uh, probably. <laughs> no, we know him, dude. He's making his rounds. Dude, I just don't get what the point. Like, I, like if you're going to take the time to go to the gym, you can't bring a pair, like, a pair of shorts. <laughs> like, I don't know. Does it really matter what you wear at the gym? It doesn't, I guess. Like, no. I mean, some gyms actually have coat. Like, you can't work out in yeah. jeans. Well, that's that's ridiculous. I don't understand that. I could see like wearing the proper shoes that are going to be safe for the the devices and everything. Right, like a big old pair of work boots is not good yeah. for the treadmill. <laughs> like, oh, he wore work boots on the treadmill, twi rolled his ankle, and now we have a lawsuit. Right, I could exactly. see that. I could see that. Though I have one hundred percent worked out in a pair of lugs before. <laughs> <laughs> Not cardio, lady, though, right? Lady, absolutely. Are you kidding me? How the hell do you do a treadmill with lugs on? <laughs> they were low top lugs. Very cautiously. They were low top lugs. They were they were like shoe boots. Shoe boots. Oh, shoots! I had a pair of shoots one time. <laughs> no, they were boots. Just... <laughs> that was bad. Oh, I fumbled it. Oh, eat. Why did eat. you? Oh, he fumbled at the end, and then he did. Shoots or booze? I don't know. I think one. shoots, because booze are what you drink. Booze goes in your mouth. Shoots go on your feet. I know. Shoots go in your hand. <laughs> shoots and ladders go up your window. Yeah, dude. Shoots go up your hand. Boots go down your shoes. Don't tell me you won. Okay, I thought you had won, dude. I was like, don't win already. Yeah, no, no. I still no. Got, got, got way. Got I got yeah, way yeah. more stuff. You ever done a personal trainer? I did a personal I trainer once. I did a personal trainer once. It was cool. He was like a younger guy. I was like college students. He was in pretty good shape and stuff, man. He like you would just like get out there and show off. Sometimes it's like, oh, I'm just gonna bust out 50 chin ups. I was like, all right, fam, I get it. Your right, I get your fit. I'm paying you to teach me how to work out. Yeah, you're a personal trainer. I get it. Just right. bust out. The fact is, if you couldn't do 50, I'd go hire somebody else. <laughs> but uh, I just remember, like, he would, like, he would just, like, ask me to do something, and then he would just go and, like, talk to a girl. But it was, like, one of those things where it was, like, the personal trainer's free if you just want to make the appointments or whatever. Oh, like at Planet Fitness or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he would just, like, come over and be like, all right, so I want you to do this for a minute, this for a minute, you know. Intermittent, whatever. What was it? What's it called? Uh, like the intermittent cardio that you're supposed to do. I don't remember. Right, anyway, yeah. but he would just like be like, "Yeah, you go ahead and do that," and then he would just like walk off and go talk to some girls. And I was like, "Oh, all right, cool." Yeah, dude. Um, I never like. Here's the thing I don't get about personal trainers is yeah. like I know what I'm supposed to do. So like, just to have a guy be like, "Okay, now we're gonna go to the chess machine. I need you to do ten sets, three. I'm like, I'm paying you to tell me how to. Do what I already know how. I don't get the point. I, I Unless mean, you don't know how to use the machines, you don't know what exercises to do. There's always a way that a person can improve on you, on your, like your technique and stuff, and making sure you have proper body mechanics. Because th there's things that take you that we can't really. And I don't know if you like. May, maybe you've done the research Bumble. or whatever, but I just feel like it, it don't hurt to have somebody there, especially if I want to lift something heavy. It's good to have somebody there that knows what they're doing. Facts. But uh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want you to. I don't want you to come over here and then go talk to girls. Like I feel you. You know what I've always noticed though, and like, and I, and like, I don't know if there's always like, because I had Planet Fitness membership for a long time. There, what I always noticed was like, you know, they always did have like the young, like studly trainer guys or whatever. Mm -hmm. But every time I saw them, there was always a group of like five, like fifty-year-old women with them, and they're all just like, and like they're all just like, and, and, and like it's like if you watch them. You notice that, like, they're watching him a lot more than they're working out. <laughs> Yo, that's the dream job. That's the dream job, just getting oogled by elderly women. Yeah, like, they're just like, Hell yeah. you know, or they might even be in their 40s or whatever, but they're all, like, they're doing, like, yep. they're doing the least amount of, like, workout they can do, and they're always just looking at the trainer. Yeah. <laughs> just, like, you just get to hang out with this hot, studly, like, trainer man. Jonas, I think that may be my dream job. Just get fit, get your trainer's license, and go and work at Planet just, Fitness. just, like, go take my shirt off in front of a bunch of... Dude, being a personal trainer would be a pretty sweet gig, though. Matures. Because you literally just show people how to use weights and stuff and teach them proper technique. Like, it, like... And if you're already in, in shape, 
<laughs> but it can't pay like super well, it right? It pays very well. It can't. <laughs> personal trainers make a lot of money, dude. Have you ever tried to hire a personal trainer? Like, I mean, not... like, I mean, like, yeah, the ones like that, but the ones that work at Planet Fitness. Oh, I mean, they probably, yeah, obviously they're on an hourly rate, um, because it's free for everybody. But I mean, I would think they probably make at least twenty bucks an hour. Wow, really? I would think so. Because hiring a real personal trainer, like, it's like at least $50 an hour. It's not cheap, dude. Yeah, I guess I guess you're not wrong. I guess you're not wrong. Because it's like one of those, it's like a life coach. You know, it's like, they're, you're, you, like you're using their expertise for your advantage. All right, real story. So I remember I had made an appointment with a personal trainer. Okay. This was not at a Planet Fitness either. Like, uh, like, a, like you had to put like, a, like whatever gym, Gold's gym. You you sure. Uh, and he like, he's like, all right, dude, I just need you to come here. Make sure you. He said, make sure you eat something. And then he told me, make sure I eat something. I guess he said like an hour to an hour and a half. I was like, f that. I'm gonna eat ten minutes before I get there. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> So, I already, I think I already know what's gonna happen. But go ahead and tell so, the rest of your story. So, what do I go and eat, Jonas? Alfredo pasta. I, I want a breakfast sandwich, man. It's morning, so I'm like, I'm gonna go, go and get a McDonald's. Go get a ten thousand calorie sandwich before you go do your workout. I mean, it was gonna be, it was like the last hurrah. Okay. So, I, so I get the breakfast sandwich, I eat it, and then you know, of course, you got to eat the second one that you have too. So. I eat <laughs> I ate six McDonald's breakfast burritos <laughs> no, before I went. No, no I but I did. I ate the two, and then I went to the gym, dude. And then he's like, "All right, so what do you want to do?" I'm like, "I don't know, man. Whatever you want to do." And he's like, "All right." He's like, "We're gonna do this medicine ball." So I started doing the medicine ball, and after about ten minutes, I'm like, "I think I'm gonna throw up." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did I know that's what was gonna happen? He was like, "Oh, didn't you eat?" And I was like, "Yeah." He was like, what'd you eat? And I was like, well, you know, I had a breakfast sandwich. He was like, what? Yeah, bro. He's he was like, like oh, when did you eat that? And he was, I was like, eh, maybe about 15 minutes before I got here. He was like, what? He was like, Are you, just go. You're gonna th he, he was mad at me, dude. He like was legitimately mad at me. Yeah, he was like, go, just go. You're just going to go puke. Go puke. <laughs> Come like, and work out with me. Eat McDonald's before you come in. Me. It was delicious. I mean, it's your choice, your life choices, dude. You can do what you wow. want. He can't judge you, and if he does, f him. Yeah. You're paying him for his time. <laughs> you can go in there and be like, "I want to watch you do exercises." Yeah, right? I mean, it don't matter. He getting paid regardless. Yeah. Be like, no, I'm gonna watch you throw around a medicine ball while I eat a yeah. breakfast burrito. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now take your shirt off. Yeah. <laughs> For the first 15 minutes, I'm going to be eating bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits yeah. while you do jumping jacks. Put your shirt off. Jonas, look, I know it sounds weird, but you said I, I could do whatever I wanted to with my with Yeah, my you're time. like, what do you want to do first? Well, first, I want to watch you be shirtless and do wow, jumping jacks. Wow, this is weird, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm comfortable with it, but it's very weird. I mean, imagine if that's what you told them. What would he have done? Oh, Ooh, look at that. Dude. Okay. I mean, honestly, Jonas, that was just some of the smoothest animation I've ever seen out of this game. It was still kind of janky, but it I get was... it. <laughs> like I said, it was still jank, but it was some of the smoothest yeah, animation. Dude. Congratulations, guys. You did it. Yeah. They made something that didn't suck. Yeah, dude, I don't know. Like, uh, I'm, it just sucks that you puke. <laughs> like, I've never worked out so hard that I vomited. Um, That was the only time I've ever have. Uh, usually, if I feel like I am, I can just, like, uh... Like, I know my limit. Yeah, like, yeah, just slow it down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you know, working out is just like drinking, dude. You just gotta, once you realize that, oh, I feel like I may. That's when you may stop. Yeah, the first, the first inkling of like, ooh, I'm a little messed up. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> yeah. It's not like, oh, I feel, oh, you're like, ooh, that was a weird feeling. Two more shots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seven more reps. It's, right. like, it's exactly. basically like, uh, like I know I know for a fact that I don't naturally just walk around feeling like I have to vomit. Yeah, that's so, usually a reaction of your body saying something is wrong. Yeah. So if I feel like I'm gonna throw up, then you know something's wrong. Something's definitely wrong. Yep. First warning signs. I agree. People should listen to their bodies. <laughs> What's your body telling you right now, Jonas? Uh, my body's calling me. No. No, what's it telling you? What's it saying? Oh, what's, that I, uh... What's your body language, Jonas? What does it speak? Yiddish? 
Um, Ooh, you seem like a dirty my, Italian my boy to me. My, uh, my, my body speaks naked woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it speaks? Yeah. Yep. The language it understands. Oh, it's the only language it understands. <laughs> I get it. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Like, what's going on, body? Oh, there's a naked woman? <laughs> Perfect. Doesn't even talk unless there's a naked woman in the room. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that would be a hard life. <laughs> all right, but that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, this dude does Twitch things. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every day, you know. <laughs> every day. And that's at 10 o'clock a.m. <laughs> Central TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. All right, for Jonas. To you too. Catch you on the next one. We are out.